Well, hello there. So my name is Chris Walshaw, uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about um, hosting your tunes in GitHub. So I run abcnotation.com, and uh, I, I sometimes get asked, where can I put my tunes online that every, so that everyone can access them? And uh, I found a, a really good solution is a, a site called GitHub. Now, GitHub is a, it's an industry standard. It's used by programmers mostly for storing code. It's not just used for that. I've found all kinds of resources there, but mostly it's used for storing code. Uh, it's free, and it's now owned by Microsoft. So uh, there's, there's a pretty good chance it's going to be around for a long time, and a good chance it'll be free forever. OK, so the first thing to do if you're going to do this um, is to go to GitHub and uh, sign up. It's, I should say, by the way, if you've only got a couple of tunes, then it probably makes more sense to go to uh, the session and you can just upload them or create a page for your tune or, or find a page where that tune exists already and upload it there. But if we're talking about you know 10 tunes, 20 tunes, 100 tunes, then GitHub is uh, what I'd recommend to do. So first go to GitHub, sign up, create an account. Uh, I've done all that already. And then also, I. There's various ways of doing it, and I think you can just use the browser, but I don't do that. I use um, GitHub Desktop. So go to this site, so it's uh, des desktop.github.com, and download the GitHub uh, app um, and use that to help you upload files. OK, so again, I've done that already. Uh, and this is what it looks like when it opens up first time. It may, uh, it'll probably ask you when, when it installs, it'll probably ask you to authenticate by going to the website and, and you know, logging in as your new account. But when you, you, when you open it up, you can then create a new repository. That's, that's what we're going to do. We create a repository. A pro repository is where you keep your, a collection of files that are uh, related to each other. So you can have one, you can have many. You could have uh, one where you keep all public stuff, and then you could have another one for private stuff that you share with one person private stuff you share with another person. So you can keep you know as many of these as you like. Probably easiest if you just have one, though. Uh, so uh, let's create a, a repository and, and show you how easy it is to get the files up on GitHub. So I'm going to I'm going to use the, the menu, new repository, but there's that button down on the, on the, uh, on the app, too. So let's have a new repository. Um, I'm going to call it Tunes. And this is where it's going to live. Now, you, again, you can you can put it wherever you like on your computer. Um, doesn't really matter, but sort of makes sense. And in fact, you've, if you've got an ABC folder and you want to share the entirety, you could just you could just locate the repository in, in your ABC folder, so they're the, the same um, they're the same folder. Okay, uh, let's create the repository uh, and there you go. And let's publish it. So we'll just call it uh, tunes. Um, description, you don't have to even put a description. You can put that there, or you can change it later. And I, if you're making it, if you're making it something that you want to share with just you know, a selected gro group of people, then keep it private um, and just tell them about where it is. Otherwise, uh, uncheck that box and publish it. Uh, and when that's finished working, It's just pushing some files up to the up to the website, up to the GitHub website. When it's finished working, um, you'll see it's created this repository, and um, we can we can go and visit it. So check it out. There's nothing there, obviously. I've just created it, so there's nothing in the, in it. But we can go to GitHub and view it on on the web, and here it is. So you can see that the, the the repository is called Tunes because that's what I just called it, and my account name is called ABC Notation. So you'll you'll get your own account name, and you'll get your, you know, whatever repository you call it, what you like. Uh, okay, so let's put some tunes in there. That's the the next thing to do. So I've got some some ABC files I prepared already. There's my there's my GitHub folder on my uh, on my computer. It's in Tunes. So all I need to do is to go to that that folder that I've just created put some ABC files in there. OK, well, I've got some ready prepared. There's, uh, let's put them. This is a band I used to be in. Uh, I can put, it doesn't have to be ABC. I can put some a PDF there as well. Put those in. Uh, and if I 
once I've put some files in there, all I need to do then is go back to this this um, this app, this desktop app, GitHub desktop, and it will find it'll see that there's new files. Uh, I have to tell it what they are. Okay, I mean, you, it doesn't it's it's that sort of to help other people uh, if they're looking through your repository uh, or maybe to remind you what you did. But I, you know, it doesn't really matter. You could just put a you could put a space in that box and it would still work. Okay, so let's call it the Julis. And the two buttons you have to press. The first is commit to main. I think that that incorporates it in the project, and then push origin puts it up on the on the website. Okay, so we'll wait for that to to complete, and let's go back to my site. If I hit uh, refresh, there you are. There's the ABC file is now on the web and anyone can go and get it. Uh, if, they visit the, if they visit the file, they'll see this sort of embedded in a page, but if you click on the raw button, you can actually get the, the raw ABC file here. Okay, so that's that's now available for anyone to see, and it took, it took two button presses. Again, if I just wanna, let's put some, let's put some more stuff in there, just to show you how easy it is. So uh, I've got a couple of, a couple more ABC files there. Uh, let's create a folder because this is a band I was another band I was in called Stock Eye. Okay, let's put them in those two. These were the two albums we made. Let's put them in that um, folder. Uh, go back to GitHub. You'll see again it, it's spotted that the files are there. Um, I can just say Stock Eye. Whatever you want, put put whatever you like in that box. You have to put something, but uh, you know it's it's really to help you. And then push origin. So two button presses. Wait a few seconds. And if we go back to my site, let's go back to the home page of my site. Uh, there you see there's a folder, and there's the two ABC files. And the nice thing is that this this, um, this desk, desktop tool keeps everything in sync. So if I if I edit one of those files, uh, I need to edit the ones that are in that that folder, don't I? Uh, there, it, no, wrong one. That one. So if I edit uh, this file uh, in Easy ABC, which is the one I I like to use, wait for that to come up. Make some changes. Uh, what should we do? Let's put a chord in. Okay, so I can edit that file, save the file, go back to this, uh, um, GitHub desktop, and it, it's spotted that, that there's a change. So, um, updated, commit to main push origin and it's done. So it's a wonderful tool. Uh, it's also has some some nice features you probably won't need, but it's got things like it's it's got version control. So if you find that you've messed up something, you can go back to the previous version going via GitHub. Um, it's uh, I'd say very popular amongst um, amongst programmers and you can use it uh, in a collaborative sense. I think that's a bit hard. I have never I've never done that. But you can use it collaboratively to um, let's go back to the uh, the new archive I've just created. You can use it collaboratively to uh, to work on a project together. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, has been of use to you. I'm sure it's it's quite a niche subject, but uh, there are some people who definitely want to be able to do this kind of thing, and uh, that's a nice way to do it. Thanks for listening.